So now that we've talked about our BIOS, we've talked about the firmware on our BIOS, and we've talked about some of the configurations that our BIOS gives us, we're now going to actually talk about a little bit more on the diagnostic side for our BIOS. What the BIOS gives us as far as diagnostic information of our, on our computer. Well, the BIOS, when it starts up our computer, it performs something called a power on self test. This is a set of instructions that the BIOS goes through to check different components on our computer that it needs in order to turn on. And it does these in a sequential order. POST is an acronym for Power On Self Test, and it performs a series of tests in order on our computer. The first one being our CPU and the information on our BIOS which allows it to run the POST, which is known as our POST BIOS ROM. So it's going to check the CPU, make sure that it can start it up and it can begin processing information, and if it can't, it'll actually fail the POST tier. Each step that POST goes through, if it can't go to the next step, it doesn't fail one step and then keep going. It just completely stops. It may give us error beeps or error codes that we'll get into later, but if we can't go past this, if the CPU fails or the POST BIOS ROM fails, it's going to stop. Our computer isn't going to boot up. Now our next step after here is going to be our system timer. We'll initialize our system timer, get it going, and make sure that it's functioning properly. Now we'll have our video card. And of course our video card is going to allow us to see output. And if that fails and we can't see output, then that's a good reason for the post to stop. Next, we will actually have our memory. Our memory, also known as our RAM, is what allows our computer to temporarily hold information so it can process uh, process the set of instructions and if our memory is bad or if say our chip is or our memory isn't seated properly then this is where we'll get the error and this is where it'll fail. And then after our memory we have two more steps. We have our keyboard and finally our disk drives. This test occurs every time we turn on our computer and it runs through each of these in order for the BIOS to know that the computer is running or the computer is able to run, able to load the operating system because if any of these are missing our computer isn't going to be able to run. That's why it performs this test right at the beginning when it starts up. How do we know if something's going on here with this test? Well, besides our computer not starting, our computer, our BIOS may actually give us a couple beeps. When our computer give us, gives us these beeps to let us know that something is wrong, it usually won't do so out of our speakers, especially if it's just run post and it hasn't really connected any of our device, devices. Well, where does it give us those beeps from? On our motherboard again, we have a small device which actually allows us to have those beeps. And it comes from the motherboard itself. This isn't built in on all motherboards, but it's a very handy tool and depending on the actual manufacturer or of the motherboard is whether they put it on there or not. Now these beeps aren't consistent across every single motherboard. Uh, two beeps may mean something different than two beeps on a different motherboard. Again, it just depends on the motherboard manufacturer. The best thing to do is actually look up the beep codes for that particular motherboard, which can usually be found in the motherboard information guide, and check out what the beep, certain beep codes mean. Uh, sometimes you may have short beeps followed by long beeps, or uh, just a single beep that can give you some valuable information as far as what's going wrong. Now besides the beeps, we may also get error codes on the screen. Say for instance, if we have multiple video cards installed and we're plugged into the, we have an onboard video card installed and then we have an additional video card installed and we're plugged into the onboard video card, the one that's already built into the motherboard. We may actually get an on-screen error letting us know that we're not plugged into the right, we're not plugged into the right video output and that's why the computer's not starting up. Now those are on-screen error codes, but if our post doesn't go through and that actually hasn't initialized our video, uh, video spot yet, then those error codes really won't show up on the screen. The computer can't process that information and put that on the screen for us. So if beeps aren't really giving us anything and we don't have any error codes on the computer screen, well, there's a third option that we can go through, and that's called our post card. Now, this isn't the type of postcard that you stick a stamp on and you send through the mail, but rather it's a postcard that we can plug into our computer. 
We plug the postcard into one of our PCI slots. And this is done, of course, while our computer is still off. And then we turn our computer on and we'll actually get red codes here, which we can use information that we can find and depending on what the code means, it tells us what step our computer is in posting and so we can know, tell where it fails. Uh, some postcards may have additional attachments which make it a little bit easier to see the actual codes. Uh, say if this motherboard is installed in a computer, rather than trying to strain and see that code, we can actually plug that in, stay a little bit farther back. The postcard isn't something that you want to have plugged in your computer all the time. It's not something that you install on your computer and you leave there, but rather a diagnostic tool that you use only when need be when your computer is encountering errors. We've so far mentioned diagnostics that you use on your BIOS when it's having problems itself. Well, sometimes the BIOS actually has its own diagnostics that it can use on other parts of your computer, say your RAM or your CPU or even your video cards. This really depends on the BIOS. Not all BIOS have uh, as intensive capabilities as others, but some computers you can actually turn them on and go into the setup, uh, and the BIOS will actually give you the options to run certain tests before the computer starts up, such as a memory test or a video test, or sometimes even a hard drive test to make sure that all the hard drive sectors are good. Now, again, these vary depending on the BIOS, but they can be very, very useful uh, depending on what sort of situation we're encountering or if our computer's having a hard time starting up or we're experiencing some problems with our memory or our hard drive. So we've gone over information on uh, how our BIOS can give us good configuration information uh, if we're having problems with our posts, such as with the beeps or warning messages or our postcard. And we've also gone over the diagnostics that our BIOS can do on other components of our computer. So using these two tools, using these two sets of information, uh, we can have a good idea and we can be better technicians as far as diagnosing issues on our computer.